What is going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today, I want to talk to you about SoFi. Q3 numbers just came out, epic as usual. I want to go over some of those highlights as well, talk on the current data points and what they're saying. Before I get into any of that, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Always greatly appreciate that. And with that said, let's get right to it. So currently, it is up 2.47%, 7.88 the high, and seven dollars is low, which might be tested fairly soon. A lot of volume, so 50.4 million shares being traded within the first one hour of the trading day. 29 is the average, and I don't think that this sell-off is new for any SoFi investor because typically over the last roughly seven earnings, there's been two things that does happen. A FOMO rally leading to the actual earnings, and then regardless of the results, there's a sell-off. So I think a lot of people were assuming that this earnings was going to be different because it kind of broke the trend. There was a sell-off that led up to the earnings, and then obviously the earnings were still fairly good. So I feel like a lot of people were assuming that it was going to go up, but obviously the market had other ideas. Plus at the same time it is trying to fight against the technicals right now and that is not necessarily an easy task so it did attempt to break into the higher percentile of the boiling band but not necessarily enough there i'll give you an overview of some of the highlights right now so this was posted by data driven investing goes over a lot of their projections and the actuals so it does show 717,000 new members that is insane and of course new members go up products go up deposits go up it's a win-win for everyone so new deposits 2.9 billion and looking here 1 million in new products up 45 percent year over year so very good results in my opinion and even based on earnings per share it did come in at negative three cents and the estimates based on 15 analysts was negative seven cents so once again definitely another home run and i think over I don't think actually, in fact, they've ever been below the analyst expectations. They always beat on earnings per share and revenue. And similar nature for this time around, they did beat on revenue. So based on 12 analysts, there was a consensus of around 512.14 million. And it did beat that. I think it was around 540, if I remember correctly. But based on this, it's kind of broken down a little bit more kind of expanded such as even the financial services revenue and many other things but still very good earnings in my opinion and plus they did piggyback that with this news right here so SoFi and BlackRock partner on 375 million personal loan securitization um, so once again that's fairly good definitely this might be causing a little bit of a scare of course might be just taking on some additional risk but who knows let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below but I do really feel that the earnings were once again Again, another home run so I'll go over some of the data points starting off with options so 5.94 million dollars in calls being purchased versus 2.14 million inputs so based on this a lot of people are still optimistic about the foreseeable future and do anticipate for it to trend up if you are looking at the call options so this shows all the strike prices expiry dates it is anticipated to be roughly between the eight to nine dollar range still and looking for the volume kind of says the exact same thing. If you are bearish though, looking on the puts, based on the open interest right here, it is anticipated to be sub around $6 or $6.50. So kind of within range. So like I said, it is fighting against the technicals. So I'll give you a quick overview of that. So right now, 702. So it is trading between this S3 and this S2. So kind of crazy, the swing that it did have today. So like I said, the high of 788. So it was actually trying to break out between this s1 and the pivot so seven dollars and 49 cents is as it stands the next strong resistance 706 i feel like i wouldn't really count that as resistance right now since it'll probably be going up and down above that right now but that's something that you need to watch for for today to see if it closes above 706 or below that if it closes below that'd be kind of crazy in my opinion not a financial advisor of course but six dollars and 36 cents is going to be that line in the sand the very strong support so like i said I think the results were very good from their earnings, but it's just fighting against the technicals right now, and that's not an easy task. And looking today, number of retail investors are getting out from SoFi, and Stochastic is currently at eight, which is considered oversold. So you would have assumed that there would be a little bit more of a, I guess, a value rally that would cause it to go up as a result of these earnings, but obviously. Uh, not really the case. So I'll give you an overview of what shorts are doing. And as I've said in the past, I'm just bringing this up more as a benchmark, not necessarily because I feel like it's going to squeeze, but short score is 63. Utilization is 34.71 and shorts are currently returning around 15,000 shares. So the fact that it is a green day and shorts are returning kind of signals that they feel that it's 
justified. Somewhat. 13.1% of the free float being shorted, 110.43 million shares overall are being shorted, and cost of borrow average isn't really updating, as you can kind of see right there. Through the interactive broker short availability, does indicate that there is more than around 10 million shares available to be shorted. And that's usually because the cost of borrow is just excessively cheap, uh, mind-blowingly in fact. So based on a lot of the data points, I feel like people feel that the results from the earnings signal that long-term SoFi is going to do fairly good. But is it the bottom for within the current circumstances within the market right now? Not necessarily because the technicals are still breaking down. Options activity seems to be very optimistic. But when it comes down to shorts, I feel like if they really did believe that SoFi was going to be trending up, there would be a lot more shares being returned because like I said, 110.43 million shares overall are being shorted. So very high. And the fact that only 15,000 is returning kind of a drop in the bucket in reality. So let me know your thoughts on SoFi's earnings. I know I didn't go into depth. I'll obviously review it later today, maybe do a in-depth video tomorrow, but what is your takeaway from the earnings? I did listen. A lot of the analysts seem to be very optimistic and bullish about their earnings. So wasn't really as uh, sharks in water as I was going to assume that it was going to be. So who knows? Let me know your thoughts on SoFi in the comments below. And do you think that it is, for instance, going to be touching this 636 now? Next, or do you think it is going to break higher into this 818? So a lot of big swings are in SoFi's future. Let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Always greatly appreciate that. Give yourself a shout out if you have been buying, selling, holding what you've been doing with SoFi in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And with that said, I appreciate all of you watching.